Okay, so for this uh, webinar, we're going to be talking about operating your touch screens. We'll be talking about the motions and the tricks on how um, that's going to work out. So what is going to be covered today? Today is going to be covering uh, intro to touch screens on why it's helpful to learn the proper gestures for the touch screens, two touch screen, screen devices, what devices have touch screens and what you can see on these devices, how to use these devices, a summary, uh, how to use touch screen devices. So let's begin with the intro to touch screens. What is a touch screen? A touch screen or touch screen uh, or touch screen typed in two separate uh, words. Oh, sorry. Is the assembly of both an input and output device. The touch panel is normally layered on top on the top of an electronic visual display of an information processing system. Simply put, a touch screen is a screen that picks up the heat and or pressure of your fingers and responds to your touch in the place of a button. In this day and age, touch screen devices are becoming more and more commonplace and can include smartphone tablets, computers, uh, electronic menus, payment readers, and more. What are touchscreen gestures? Touchscreen gestures are the ways in which your finger interacts with your device's screen. Different gestures produce different results. So we see here the Im on the image, these are the different types of uh, gestures like tap, double tap, drag, flick, pinch, spread, press, and press plus tap. Let's begin with uh, the tap. To tap the screen, briefly touch it with your finger. You can open apps and select links and other options by tapping on them. It is the equivalent of clicking on a mouse of a computer. The swipe. To swipe, place your finger near the middle of the screen and quickly move your finger to the left, right, top, or bottom with a fluid motion. This will be this will cause the screen to change from one page to another. Uh, to tap and hold, just as you think, simply tap the screen and hold your finger down for a moment. By tapping and holding an app, you can delete it or create folders. Drag uh, is tap, hold, and drag your finger to another part of the screen. Do this to rearrange the apps on your home screen or scroll up or down on an app or web page. Sorry for the Discord notification. Double tap. Rapidly touch the screen twice in a row in the same spot. With an iPhone, you can unlock it by double tapping the screen. So lesson two, uh, the touch screen basics. For your home button uh, on your phone, the, but, uh, the button that you press to go to your home screen is called a home button. Some smartphones, such as newer models of iPhones, do not have them. If your device doesn't have a home button, instead you swipe with your finger from the bottom to the top of your screen to go back to your home screen. The home button on an iPhone, uh, not this isn't uh, in the presentation, but the home button looks more like a, a gray line at the bottom of your screen. So that's how you'll know uh, what the home button is. Uh, anyways, lock screen. To turn on your device, either tap the home button or the screen. Your lock screen will usually show the time and date, battery, connection to Wi-Fi, data, and notifications if you have any. This is the notifications, this is the time. This lock button means that it ha this phone has a password. This means that your phone has service. This one means that, ho that your phone has Wi-Fi. And this is your battery. We'll talk about these two, uh, these other buttons. So this is your home, uh, this is your home button right here. 
the, the gray line that I was mentioning earlier. So the lock screen. If you tap the screen twice or swipe up, you should see a screen that asks you to enter a passcode, password, or pattern depending on what you have set up for your phone. Enter your code to unlock your device. For, for the camera, to access the camera without unlocking your phone, tap the little camera icon on the bottom corner and swipe up to open your camera application. For emergencies, in case of an emergency, tap the emergency or emergency call button to make a 911 call without having to unlock your phone. And that is right here, usually. So moving on to your home screen, sorry. Uh, once your phone is unlocked, you will see your home screen. Again, you will see your battery life, the Wi-Fi and data at the top, as well as the time. The main thing on your home screen would be your apps. So your apps. Apps are the, are the square icons that you see on your screen. They all have different purposes and functions. You can get more apps, both free and paid, from the App Store or Play Store uh, if you have an Android. To use the apps, just press on them uh, with your finger and it will open up. To browse through all available apps on your device, swipe to the left or to the right. Folders. Folders are a way of grouping and or organizing apps, your apps. To create a folder, hold down on the app that you want in the folder, then drag it over to another app that you want in the folder. You should see an outline around the app underneath the one you're dragging. Then take your finger off the app and the folder should open up with those two apps inside it. If you want to add more apps to the folder, then press and hold any what, uh, whatever app you want to add, then drag it over to the folder you want to add it to. But by the way, I'm, I wanna stop here midway to make sure, can you guys hear me uh, like at all? Yes, very well. All right, thank, thank you. That's good to know. Because I, I thought my mic was muted or something. Okay. Anyways, uh, so starting over here, uh, when you lock on your home screen, a folder would be the same size as an app. You would see the apps that you have in the folder in the square right here. Once you press on the folder, it will open up so you can see the apps that you put in it. You can name the folder so uh, you know what type of apps you put inside it. To name it, just press and hold where the name of the folder is. Then a keyboard should appear and you could type in whatever you like. If you have more than a certain number of apps in your folder, then you will see dots at the bottom of the folder. That represents how many pages are in your folder. You can see right here. Uh, that uh, each page has your apps in them. Swipe to the left to reveal more apps. Now closing the apps for iPhone, uh, simply pressing the home button uh, will not close the app you are using. It will continue to run in the background, draining your battery and using data. To close an app on an iPhone, on the home screen of your phone, if you don't have a physical home button, just drag your finger from the bottom of the screen to around the middle of your screen of the screen to reveal all currently open uh, apps. To close your apps, swipe your finger upwards. Like this. It says I'm doing for mouse. For Android, the better phone, uh, on the home screen of an Android device, you will see three buttons at the bottom of your screen. The button to the right of the home button is the back button. It will take you back one action. The button to the left of the home's button will show you all the apps that are currently open. To close an app, press the X button in the corner or tap it and swipe to the right or left. 
or to close all apps, tap close all. The control panel. If you hold your finger on the top of your screen and drag it down, you will get quick access to the control panel. There are a few icons that you can enable or change if you want, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or brightness. If you press and hold any of those icons, it will expand and you will see other features. To go back to your home screen, swipe up from the bottom of the screen. If your phone has a button, then just press it once and it should bring you back to home. Lesson three, more touch screen tips. Screen sensitivity. If you would like your touch screen, sorry. If you, if you would like your touch screen to be more or less responsive to your touch, you can change the sensitivity level. For iPhone, it's open settings, accessibility, and you go to accessibility, then over to touch, and then move to assistive touch. Drag the circle on the line to the right to make your screen more sensitive, and to the left to make it less sensitive. For Android, the better phone, go to settings, accessibility, dexterity and interaction, assistant menu, talk and then toggle on from there you can alter the touchpad size and cursor size speed for interaction control uh, for android enable the interaction control to turn off screen rotation block screen notifications and block touch interaction for an area of the screen that you select this can simplify the use of your smartphone in order to do this, open up settings, go to accessibility, external interaction again, and this time click interaction control and click toggle on. Zooming in and, and out. For zooming in, to enlarge the items on your screen, put two fingers on your screen, like your thumb and pointer finger, then move them apart from each other. To zoom out, put a fin uh, put fingers on your put the same fingers like your thumb and pointer finger on your screen, and then move them close to each other. The spacebar trick: when you're using your keyboard on your screen, if you want to edit your sentence, you can press and hold the spacebar. Then drag your finger to where, uh, wherever you want to edit your sentence. A shortcut uh, uh, to access camera. Instead of finding and tapping your camera app, you can quickly open the camera by double tapping the home button, Android, or swipe down from the top of the screen to access it from your control panel. This is for both Android and iPhone, and the previous option is for Android only by the way. Switching tabs. When you open Chrome on a phone, you won't see your tabs like on a computer or tablet because it's a smaller device. To get to the tab slash page you want, press the little square on the bottom right of the Chrome mm -hmm. screen. The number in the square represents how many tabs are open. As I can see with the mouse here and you will see all the different tabs you have open, as well as the plus sign to open another tab. Just tap on whatever tab you want to go on or tap the plus sign if you want to open a new tab. Press the X to delete the tab, right here. Okay, and that's the presentation.